Welcome to the update of February, the first run from my new place here in Changu in Bali. I'm so happy that I moved. That was a um, big thing this month and it feels really good to be here. So, connected to that, what I'm realizing is um, Ubud was really not really my vibe and I kind of neglected my true desires and who I am a little bit um, because I went there with the mindset um, of like, yeah, I want to learn, I'm open and many good things came of that. I was eating super clean, no alcohol at all, um, basically never smoked, um, but it's too esoteric for me. People there, they believe in a lot of things that um, are a little bit out there for me. Um, my spiritual practice is quite minimalistic and I like it that way and it's okay that I like it that way so I don't need to believe in all those different things. So being back in Changu feels really good but I also went a little bit to the other side you know where I'm like yeah let's be out late, let's drink, let's smoke, let's uh, just enjoy life. And um, the intention for March is to, you know, settle somewhere in the middle where it's um, enough freedom and fun and enjoyment, but also healthy lifestyle, healthy routines. Um, and another thing that happened this month, that's kind of, I'm going to start with like life update and then go into business a little bit later is I came to Changu and um, I was hanging out with a few people and I met more people from this friend group. Amazing people, but they are here more on holiday. So they go out a lot, they drink, they party. And it was great for a few times, but I need to be very cautious um, who I'm surrounding myself with, right? You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So... Um, spending a lot of time with people who don't have to work here and who can, you know, just enjoy life and drink is not really what I want. It's not, it's not um, supporting me in my life. I started doing a lot of sports, with, which I enjoy so much right now. Um, I live with a scooter 30 seconds from the beach, so I play beach volleyball um, very often in the evening. Uh, I played badminton yesterday, I went surfing once, um, wakeboarding, play table tennis, so that's really amazing. Also, I tried to do a little bit of workouts today, uh, not today, at home, <laughs> and that's going really well. Another uh, big thing that I finally started is to write down what I eat and then how I feel afterwards. Because for many years, I felt like something is a little bit off with my digestion, like food is often making me tired a little bit, so I started reading Eat Smarter and at the same time doing a food journal and to really yeah, figure out for myself, like, hey, what is working, what is not working so well. Um, I also did my first EFT session, which is emotional freedom tapping. It's an, it's an interesting technique where you kind of tap on different points on your body while you are working on your beliefs. Um, and how it works is it's basically signaling your body that you're safe. You know, like if you have a little child and it's crying, you would tap, tap it on the, on the back or something. So it's signaling our brain like, hey, it's safe, you can relax. And that way you can get deeper um, into your mind and work on those beliefs. And also bring up the, the true, um, maybe blocks, old beliefs, old stories. Yeah, it was an interesting experience. All right, um, what else? The separate brand that I'm uh, trying to build up with two friends of mine, um, we're making progress, not as fast as I expected. And um, it's an interesting dynamic because we are three people now and like who is taking which roles, how do we work together, um, how do we, um, put in enough time because we all have other things to do as well. 
but yeah, we have um, kind of a routine slowly. My job is to record movies that like, via video, so I have. I'm gonna show you my room now. Which is it's not as fancy as the one in Ubud, but it's super big. And I really like that. I can, uh, I can have my video equipment there. My bed is over there. I bought I bought a good chair, so my back is not hurting if I sit a lot. Organize the desk. Then I have a little fridge there, and then there around the corner is um, the bathroom. Yeah, has enough light. Pool right in front. And like I said, super close to the beach, which is amazing. And then over there, I don't know if you can see that in the house, there's living the host family. They're so lovely, it's super, super amazing. Um, there's a little shared kitchen that I can also use if I want to. Yeah. And I have uh, one friend here living already, and another one will come. When I moved in, it was completely empty, and like the idea was that I'd bring some cool people in, so it's basically like, uh, renting a villa together, but we are all, uh, yeah, individually paying, and we don't need to like if someone wants to leave, that's no problem. So that's cool. Mm, and now coaching. So coaching is picking up momentum again, and I kind of have to make a decision a little bit in terms of how do I spend my time creating clients. So. One option is I connect with people on the internet, offline, um, build relationships. This is basically how I did it until now. I'm still continue doing that. I meet people here and if I see I can help them, I offer my help. Another approach is to specifically go and try to find first and then connect with social entrepreneurs, eco-entrepreneurs. And this is something that I realized, like, I'm really passionate about that. I want to help people who are, who are already making a positive impact on the environment, on other humans. Oh, okay, I hope that stops again. Someone's hammering. And I want to help them grow their business, be more um, in balance, relaxed, enjoy their life. And that way I can have the, the biggest ripple effect, you know, by me supporting those people, making a better, bigger, bigger impact. <laughs> um, yeah, so that would mean specifically looking for those people, maybe on LinkedIn, maybe on, on Instagram and then connecting, inviting them to a session, giving them an experience of my coaching. And yeah, that is one option. Another option that I'm also quite passionate about is to do more in-person workshops here in Bali um, because that is something that is uh, helping me to grow as a person. So speak in front of people, organize some workshops maybe around money mindset, about staying focused and not getting distracted by social media and that kind of stuff. I will do a first little round this Wednesday. Um, yeah, and then also maybe creating content, which is not really happening too much at the moment, but I do have my video set up here, and yeah, it would be nice to get also into a flow of, I don't know, maybe like one YouTube video every two weeks at least would be good. Mm, yeah, that is about it. Um, I'm feeling good. I had one or two weeks where I felt a little lower in just motivation and confidence but the last week was super amazing and I'm still so grateful to be here in Bali um, yeah that's about it for this update um, until next month see you soon